Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to derive a cost function from a perfect complement's production function. Here's the firm's production function. Output y is a minimum of the following. We got input x1 and input x2. Input prices are w1 and w2. We want to derive the firm's cost function where cost is a function of the output and the various input prices. The appropriate input mix requires that output equals 5 times input x1 which will also equal 4 times input of x2. So we have to use these inputs in fixed proportion so the only input combination that makes sense is when these values are all equal. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set y equal to 5x1, and then I'm going to solve for x1. So the input x1 equals output divided by 5. Then I'm going to do a similar thing here. I'm going to set y equal to 4 times the input here of uh, input 2, x2, and then solve for the input 2, and we get y or output over 4. Next step is we form our ISO cost line, where cost equals the price of input 1 times input 1 plus the price of input 2 times input 2 and for input 1 and input 2 we're going to make some substitutions now from down here for x subscript 1 I'm going to replace that with y divided by 5 and x subscript 2 I'm going to replace that with y divided by 4 and I'm going to factor out a y term on the right hand side and that is our cost function we can check our answer Let's say the firm produces 20 units of output and the price of input 1 is $40 and the price of input 2 is $60 per unit. So plugging that information into our cost function, the total cost of producing 20 units of output here would be $460. An alternative solution is the appropriate quantity of input 1 is just going to be the output divided by 5. So we saw this expression on the first slide. So the firm should use 4 units of input 1. As for input 2, the firm should use y divided by 4 or 20 divided by 4 and 5 units of input 2. Plugging that into our ISO cost equation, we also get $460. Alright, that's it.